Okay. Buy our merch or I'll kill you. I just told him to buy our merch or I'd kill him. Yeah, buy merch. Or I'll find you. Guys, we got merch coming out this week. We do. Two t-shirts with two different designs Mm -hmm. and a hat. It's pretty sick. It's actually going to be dropping right now when this episode hits. So hit the link. Buy merch. It's pretty sick. I'd wear it. You'd wear it. You would wear it. So get it. I'd probably wear it. What happens if you buy the merch? Cody, please tell me what happens if you buy the merch. Well, we had Nakobe Dean on for this episode. He was kind enough to sign a UGA helmet for us. That is tight in hands. Nakobe Dean signed helmet. So if you buy the merch... You get one entry for every piece of merch that you buy for the helmet. So go buy merch, go to the bio, link in bio. It's in the link tree. It's that easy. We made it easy for you so you can buy merch. Boom. Go dogs. Go dogs. Sick them. Whoa, 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 whoa. And that coach of an Athens got them boys playing pretty good ball. Anyway, I love you, son. Go dogs. All right, ladies and gents, welcome back. It's your boy, Goaty, co-hosted with Tater, Tater Totter. we got a special guest, Nakobe Dean, former dog, now Philadelphia yes, Eagle. Uh, we got to go off some of these accolades right here because you got a lot of them. You ready? Uh, one of only three linebackers ever to win the Buckus Award in high school and college. All-America, first team from the Associated Press, Walter Camp, AFCA, Sporting News, USA Today, ESPN, The Athletic, and CBS. That's a mouthful. Uh, AP and coaches, all SEC first team, SEC defensive player of the year by Pro Bowl Focus, PFF, permanent team captain for the Bulldogs in his uh, junior year, uh, semifinalist for the 2021 Chuck Benaric Award, mm. finalist for the Lot Impact Trophy, and named captain of the 2021 Allstate AFCA Good Works team. What's, what, is, what is the AFCA Good Works team? Uh, they just kind of they picked people who had like you know good character and did like community work. So they did like, um, like what I did was I did a lot of work with the Boys and Girls Club when I was here. So I took them, like I had brought them to probably about two or three games. Uh, I was able to partner with an engineering um, factory, actually. It's still a private, it's RWDC. Yeah. It's still private right now. Uh, but I was able to get them to, to uh, give the kids a tour. So we was walking around the factory. That's sick, and, dude. Yeah. I've never seen something about like that. I was like, what is that? That's pretty. That's pretty dope. <laughs> Uh, and speaking of, you're an engineering major. We'll yeah. talk about we'll talk about that in a little bit. But you're from Horn Lake, Mississippi. Mm. Miss it, boys. <laughs> Gonna be a, a sit boy. <laughs> what? You. Um, uh, they do it right out there. <clears throat> Good old boys. They only practice twice a week. They are doing something right. Doing they got right. Craw- they got crawfish. That's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, that crawfish is different. Crawfish. Sweet tea's different. But Horn Lake's closer to Bill Norton up in Memphis, right? Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, I, I, I promise you, I live. If we go to ECV from right here, I'll be in uh, Memphis, Tennessee from my house. That's crazy. Speaking of, I saw, do you do you have Bill on Snapchat? Do you have Bill on Snapchat? I do. He posted getting out of practice at like 7.30 p.m. And he was just complaining on a rant on a Snapchat. I was like, oh, nothing has changed for Bill. <laughs> nothing has changed. Have you all seen his, have you seen his house? Yeah. It's like a sand block in the middle yeah. of nowhere. Oh, I haven't, I haven't seen his house the way he got. It literally looks like it's built out of sand. Yeah, it's, dude, it's wild. He, uh. He's is he living with the kid from Flo? Is he living with Flo or no? I don't no? think he's living with Flo. I no. just think they've kind of became friends since Flo, they came in. Do you know Justin Flo, the linebacker from Oregon? Personally, no. No, like I can. If I feel like if I can, I hit him up on Instagram. Yeah, he pulled like, up. Uh, he pulled up the Bills house the other day in a uh, brand I brand hate. new. I like. Yeah, he be. Hey, he boy, be, look you, good. I've been following him on Instagram for a minute. He be. Yeah, he had that for a minute. <laughs> what uh. What made you choose UGA? Being from Mississippi, you had a lot of other options that were closer to home. Yeah. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, Mississippi was so mad at me. I bet. <laughs> I mean your bro your bro <laughs> went to Ole Miss. Ole Miss, yeah. Uh, and you right you're right there. Yeah. So I mean, I kinda had I prayed on it. I was at the Mississippi versus Alabama All Star game. I prayed on it. I was like, God, I need a sign where I wanted to go. Cause I'm gonna be honest, in my my head, I'm thinking like, I don't care where I go, I'm just gonna go ball out. But I was like, God, give me a sign. So I went to sleep, and I woke up, and Kirby called me. He called me. I was like, ah. Right when you woke up, you, you yeah, just called Yeah, right when I woke up. So it was like, ah, uh, okay. So that was kind of in the back of my mind the whole time. So my mama ain't really ain't really care for Georgia. My pops ain't really care for Georgia. I was like, I was like, Georgia, though. I was like, uh, Georgia, Georgia. It was just kind of in the back of my mind. So that kind of led me to 
it was kind of a gut feeling. I was like, nah, I'm going to go Georgia. I'm going to go Georgia all the way. But, yeah, it, more so people from Ole Miss was mad than people from Mississippi State. I bet. Because it's closer. I, yeah, when I when I um, put the shoebox on the, on the table and I pulled out this Georgia shirt. Is that how you did it? <laughs> yeah. That's I, awesome. I ain't want to wear red shoes. Yeah, so I had my red shoes in the box to make it match my red shirt. So, I, so I pulled the shoe box and I had the shirt in the box with the shoes. But um, yeah, some old Miss fans stormed out of there and kicked, oh, I and bet. Like kicked the door open. Were you, I were bet. you an old Miss fan growing up? Uh, no, I wasn't. I wasn't really a, a fan of nothing. Okay. It, I wasn't a fan of nothing. Actually, um, I was just I was a fan of Mississippi college sports. Mm-hmm. So, like uh, the Egg Bowl every year. It's gonna be crazy. Like my family's already got plans for the Egg Bowl because it's bowl. Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving yeah. week. They got a house. Like my entire family's coming out there. It's gonna be electric. That egg Bowl, great. crazy. That sounds like me though, because grew up a diehard yeah. Tennessee yeah. fan. I mean, you live closer to Tennessee yeah. than anything yeah. else. Dad was a huge Tennessee fan. Like I have a part of my family that won't even talk to me since I came to Georgia because they're such big Tennessee oh, no. fans. But yeah, yeah the funniest that, thing yeah, about that is after I committed, did the hat or whatever. Right when the dad got to the parking lot, he pulled the T sticker off the back of his truck, and they got it on video. Like, mm. He started getting like death threats and things oh, from people. Oh, oh yeah, I got a lot of them. Oh yeah, I got. Oh, I got a lot of them. So, See, that's crazy. That's something so foreign to me because I mean, I'm from Atlanta, so like, <laughs> yeah. I ain't going to Georgia Tech. I'm going. I'm going to Georgia. Yeah. But dude, my dude. So this is a pretty cool story. So you talk about like moments where it was like you knew you were going to Georgia. Mm. I so I went to a camp here at Georgia. Didn't have any offers. It was the summer going into my sophomore year. And ended up having Kirby call me and offered me, but he was like, there's a catch to it. He was like, I'm going to offer you, but I don't want you to tell a soul for like two weeks. Because I was going, after Georgia, I was going to Auburn, Tennessee, Bama, South Carolina. Mm. And he was, I don't want you to tell a soul. Because he's like, if, I t- if, if you tell people now, they're just going to offer you, just to offer you. He was like, keep it quiet. And I want, I want to show you that like I'm, the only, like, I'm the first guy that believed in you and the one that really believed in you. So I didn't tell a soul, didn't get any other offers except from Austin P that week. Then like t- started started telling people that that Georgia offered me, Tennessee, Auburn, Bama, South Carolina, yeah. like that. It's kind of how it works. Yeah, kind of how it works. But it was kind of like he was right, and from that moment, I trusted him, and I kind of knew I was like, yeah, I'm yeah. going to Georgia. I don't think my uh, my mom, my pops had a great first impression of Kirby. What was it like? Well, we just had a meeting, and he and he just was like, "Well, I would like if you do don't choose us, that you let me know, so we can move on to the next guy." It's just kind of how he came off. Like, I didn't care. I was like, okay, yeah. yeah. I was like, it's cool. But my parents was like, what you mean? You already moving on to the next guy? <laughs> so, Such a business, bro. Yeah, it, it's definitely a business. I like that that, yeah. that whole um, thing. Going from high school to college, you couldn't sell me on family. If you was just like, it's a family feel. I, nah. I'm like, you're going to get me ready for what I want to do in life and, you know, his business, you yeah, get me like the that. league, like you yeah. get me there. So I was, and I was like, yeah, Georgia gonna do that, no Dude, matter what. I'll never forget on my OV. I think he, you weren't on my OV weekend, but it was like Ryan Davis, Tresman. Oh my goodness! And then when I first got to campus, <laughs> it, <laughs> it was a weekend. But Ryan Davis, Tresman, and like at the time, you know, your high school kid going against linebackers that are like five seven, five eight, mm. hundred and. 70 pounds like just dominate him and then i see yeah. ryan tresman i saw you first week and i was like these are the guys that are covering me i was like i'm in trouble well i showed up this is actually a story about you mm. first i was like oh, I'm, I'm as big as everybody here but yeah, like no near nowhere near as strong like all i've blocked since i've been here is first rounders mm. like of course jc uh jc jd jd vante vante trayvon, trayvon. all i've blocked since i've been here is first rounders yeah same i don't remember what stunt i'm like sitting there i'm like thinking oh i'm as big as everybody but figured out real quick i wasn't as strong or as like fundamentally sound i don't remember what stunt y'all brought and it was like my first time ever seeing a twist and you <laughs> ear hold me and i didn't know where i was for like four plays that was kind of <laughs> like my culture shock when i first got here it was like the first fall camp it was like a COVID fall camp oh man and, oh, COVID fall camp. Oh. well you want you want like well, back when we did the Talk gala, well, when we did the gala, you won newcomer of the year freshman year, didn't you? I think I rest. I can't remember what it was. Cold, but it was yeah, I was like cold newcomer of the year. Yeah, yeah. But uh, dude, there was there was we were standing in 
because you enrolled early, right? Mm -hmm. We were standing on the sideline like three practices in on spring ball, and I was hurt, so I was chilling. And it was me and Ryan, da Ryan Davis just chilling there. And he made a play from like sideline to sideline, and we were like, this guy's real cool on Smith. Like, this guy's insane. Yeah, but, but uh, man, if that first spring, oh my goodness. That was, it was brutal. Grind. It was brutal because it's like you don't know how it is, and it's just mm -hmm. you coming straight from high school. It's like now you got Kirby yelling at you. You don't know the plays. Uh, I'm not getting the, the right amount of sleep because ain't nobody telling me to sleep. <laughs> and you so an I'm engineer tired. major? So I'm an engineer <laughs> major. It was like ah, oh, I ain't, I had to fight, figure it out. So I was I, just out there running. I think Nolan was an engineering major for like the first couple of weeks in the knee. Me, it was me, Nolan, Warren, and I think Clay. I remember. I, I remember. Clay. Yeah. Clay. I lived with Clay two years ago. Oh, I lived across from the street from y'all for a little bit there. Yeah, you did. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm, I got lucky. My first practice wasn't a true fall camp practice because we had COVID. Mm. So it was kind of spaced out, and it gave me you Remember time. the plastic masks they gave us oh, on the helmet and the face mask? Everybody had it all by the first mm -hmm. they, two They just days. got ripped off. <laughs> it was crazy. That was wild. Talk about being an engineering major. Cause you, so you're back here right now, finishing trying up, to finish. trying to finish, trying to finish. I don't know how you do, dude. I don't know how you. Looking do back it. on it, cause like now I got all the time, and like, well, I don't got all the time in the world, but I feel like I got a lot, a lot more time. It's like I don't know how I did. It. It's like I just when I, cause I wanted to do it. Yeah. Man, I was here, and it was a point where I was like, I'm finna, I'm finna just get a regular major. Uh, I mean, like a easier major, you know, just just play ball. I was like, nah, I, ain't. I didn't go through them that first year and a half. Yeah, struggling just like to, I did just to quit now. Yeah, and then actually when I stayed in it, then COVID came around, got a little harder because it was like you're not in class. But then right after COVID, it's like I figured everything out. I remember when we had our shoulder injuries at the same time, mm -hmm. bro. You like you came like you had I, like I was well rested because I wasn't practicing. I had just normal class schedule. I remember you talking about your days, and I was just like, oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Is this Seth? I think so. I don't, I don't know. I oh, did. yeah. But yeah, it is Seth. Yeah. What's up, son? Fire and Flavor is a local Athens company that loves supporting the dogs. Founded by UGA alumni Davis and Jenna Knox, this company is your go-to resource for all things grilling. They got dry rubs, barbecue pellets, charcoal, and the new and innovative Hero Portable Grill. Fire and Flavor gets it done and find their products at fireandflavor.com or at your local Striplings, Publix, or Lowe's Home Improvement. Use their code TAILGATE, that's TAILGATE for 25% off on their website. Again, their website is fireandflavor.com. Use the code TAILGATE for 25% off. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, the Seth, come sit down for a second. Yeah. The signal, the signal caller for the old dogs the last two years. <laughs> Did you, get, did you get that from your brother's closet too? Uh, no, he got me this for Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> Seth and I played golf yesterday, nine holes. Seth, what'd you shoot? Uh, Forty-six. I think I shot like a seventy-five, but yeah, not a great day for Gody. Yeah, it was bad. We called it after nine. I was telling Patrick, I was like, we're gonna play eighteen, then we just called it after nine. Like you said, a, a bad day on the golf course is, is better than a good day anywhere else. That is the <laughs> truth, brother. What are y'all doing? The cutters and the little dollar beers. <laughs> we heard Paloma bumping. <laughs> we were just there. That's where we were leaving. Yeah. Nice. We, we went to cutters like 3.15. 3.15? Yeah, and then had a little keg at, at Paloma. Now we're going back to I really, I really miss looking over at practice trying to get the calls and not seeing you. Yeah. I miss it. No, you don't. Missing ball. I, well, <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> I, I miss ball, but other than that. <laughs> so let's see what we got rolling here. Oh, yeah. SEC champs. Must be nice. I didn't win the SEC championship when I was you here. Got a That's right, you <laughs> left. <laughs> so, Ron, did that. you know that Seth used to work for me? Yeah. No way, really. Yeah. When he was yeah. when he was first starting off, and uh, he was uh, you started off as our door guy. Did you ever? Did we move you inside, or were you just? Nah, the door? I never. I never made it there because I worked there during <laughs> I worked there during the spring, and uh, at that point, I I didn't have more than like a hundred dollars in my bank account, and I was just living off of the. Uh, you know, weekend checks from onward. <laughs> he, was, he was at the bar. He was posting. I was about to say, he probably made a few trips downstairs Ooh. at the bar, didn't he? I'm sure he did. But, I mean, he was keeping the riffraff out. He had an important job of making sure the right people were where they're supposed to be in there. And uh, I remember seeing you out there. <laughs> yeah. I was leaving Paulie's Well, it got Alexa. to a point. He yeah. was getting, he's getting moved up, and he's like, I'm doing a lot with the, with the team right now. He's like, 
I'm sorry, man. I gotta step back. He's like, don't be mad. I gotta yeah. do that. I'm like, no, man. This like this it, stuff's more important. You go do. Well, you. yeah. I, remember, I, I saw him. Started, yeah. I saw like when I walked out of the bar. Me and Alexa were walking out. And she know, he knows Alexa just from high school, and we like did a double take. We're like. Seth, what are you doing out here? <laughs> yeah, they thought I was just standing there, just sitting by myself, but I was I was working. Yeah, yeah the guy that replaced you, what's his name? Dax. Yeah, I haven't heard him say a word. <laughs> Takes a while to get comfortable. Appreciate yeah, you, boy. Yeah, appreciate y'all yeah. uh, inviting me in for. You'll have you'll have a good little evening over at Cutters. What you got back here? Dollar beer sounds really nice right about now. <laughs> All right, so that's kind of a perfect segue. We're going to do our fist pump feature of the week. So we, we have a segment on here called the fist pump feature of the week. Okay. So think about like Tiger. You know, like you watch Tiger at all? Tiger Wood, yeah. right? Yeah. You know when he like sinks a putt, he has his like famous lift the putter and fist pump. Mm -hmm. So we call it fist pump feature because it's after, is this, this is a different one. So think about something this week that was fist pump worthy that was like, that's hype. Like hype. Fist pump. You want, you want time to think about it? I might need a little All right, time. I'll go first, give you like an example. You, go, you always got them ready to roll. I do. I do. I'm prepared. Even though last you week you said I'm not. You're not playing football right now, so I'm, it's probably pretty easy. <laughs> That's a great point, dude. That's a great point. I, never, never mind. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my fist pump feature of the week is I wore it for the episode, but the Masters starts next next week. Mm -hmm. right? Two weeks? Two weeks. And March Madness started today. So we got like a two and a half, three week run of just – Sport, sports drama. What you got? But I, mean, I guess I have to say that we started spring ball this week. You have to say. I mean, that's really the only thing entertaining that's happened. Yeah, not class. Um, Ranking. Yeah, that's not my favorite. But yeah, I told somebody the other day I was like, I'm actually having fun at football practice now. Yeah. It's crazy. Like that yeah, third yeah, year yeah, is like a difference. Like, yeah. I guess it's just not being in season. Or something like that. Like yeah. I don't have stuff to worry about. Yeah, you don't hear you don't you don't hear Kirby as much either. Not at yeah. all. Because you I, shut him off. I am glad I've learned how to do that. That's <laughs> what I remember. Last spring, I texted Charlie Warner, and I was like, "Dude, like after like, is football just easy? Like, is it easier now after your third year?" He was like, "It just slows down." Like I was I was able to breathe at practice. Like I knew what was going on. I'm not running around like my butt's on fire. My freshman years, all those twists, moving and like double speed it's also now it's like it kind of moves in slow motion i know yeah. what's happening yeah. i know the calls yeah <laughs> <laughs> um yeah. but yeah I've, i don't i don't know but yeah people come up to me after practice they're like did you, did you hear coach smart said to you i'm like no no <laughs> then they'll tell me what he said i'm like that's how it was last year like i would damn. walk i would walk back to the sideline in practice and they'd be like did you just hear that and i'm like not hear what mm -hmm. you just like you just go to get a little scrappy last year Got a little yeah, I got a couple. I got a couple fights oh, last year. Man. <laughs> Cody got a little scrappy last year. I love year. that. I love. I that. got in a, like four. <laughs> yeah, I got like four. Man. Yeah, it was from like, it was from like week three to Florida week, and then once in Ohio State week. The mean. You gotta get the boys right up I a little that bit. I mean, the guys was ready. Yeah, you gotta get them yeah. going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I, uh, my my not big, but so last week, you know, I did. It was spring break. So uh took the guys to Miami. Woo. I haven't been on a trip since like a real trip. Probably since May of twenty one. Who all went with you? It was uh my two two of my line brothers, fraternity brothers, and two of my guys that I grew up with. Heck yeah. So we we went to Miami. Oh. We, there, we was there for a couple of days. I bet that was a movie. Uh yeah. Yeah, it was fun. That's awesome. Uh but my, I guess my fist pump moment was uh, on Monday making it through that first workout. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm working myself out, but I died during conditioning. Yeah, bro. I died during conditioning. Mm -hmm. uh, first day back. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. I got back from the beach on Thursday and did like a little bike thing and then ran and I thought I was going to, I thought I was going to heaven. Like I thought I was done. <laughs> we we just got through with dog time and I was like, I'm in the best con like shape I've been yeah. in the whole, like my life. And we go to spring break, and I, like, work out here and there, but I don't do anything like we did. We come back and run tempos, and I'm like, what Same. have I done? Same. What have I done? Like I did a little workout in Miami. It did not prepare me for what I had nope. for myself on Monday. Dude, I got to give it to you, too. Like, you're one of the hardest workers I've been around. I remember when, like, when we got hurt and we were working out together, like, you were always doing something. I had to. I had to. Squatting, like, 
eight thousand pounds, benching like five thousand pounds. Pound for pound, the yeah. strongest person in the weight room. I don't, I don't, I don't even bench no more. Really? So y'all know last year I hurt my pec, right? Mm -hmm. During I forgot during about bench. that. It was literally, it was I literally had two hundred, like two fifteen on the bar. It was like a freak, like I don't know what happened. We had just I was just banging it out and just like hurt my pec, right? But all the reports came out that I need. Yeah, it was like it was. The most when the reports came out on draft day, most yeah. of them was like fake. I needed surgery. I refused to have surgery. I'm gonna miss the season. I'm like, I was gonna, I, I was gonna hit on that. So we'll go back to some other things. Yeah. But how did obviously you dropped in the draft and you shouldn't have dropped in the draft? Yeah, because of those fake reports. How did that change your mindset going into the league? Did it give you kind of a chip on your shoulder? Like I got to prove all these people. So around. I always had a chip on my shoulder. You uh, always you play like that too. Yeah. But like, did it add that? It definitely Actual. added. It. I'm actually going to get a tattoo, really, of, of a chip on my shoulder, a, case, a casino chip. I like that with 83 in it. Bet on yourself. I was an 83rd pick, so. But yeah, it, it, it didn't do nothing but increase the chip, basically. You know, chip on my shoulder. Um, I didn't. I didn't cry about it. I didn't sulk about it. It's like, all right, get to work, cause everybody in the league know when you make it in the league, only thing you need is a chance, and you That's can be the truth. And you could be one of the greatest, no matter if you went first pick first round first pick because as soon as you know you don't matter where you pick you're just there exactly exactly it's like no like kids come out of college and nobody knows their name end up getting in the league exactly it's crazy falling out kids from small colleges mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. yeah i remember watching that dude i felt so bad for you because it was like you i was best at player. the draft huh i was at yeah the draft. i was in vegas like all and all the guys that played like, with you know like at least I was the best You're one. You're that guy. Best looking one now. Yeah. That <laughs> <laughs> best just. <laughs> but you, you all, that's another thing is you were, you got that drip. It's like, Always showing up. You were Reason. saying like kids from small schools, like I pay attention to offensive linemen just by nature, but the past two senior bowls, two offensive linemen from nowhere schools, like smaller schools mm -hmm. that you would never think of have worked themselves in the first round. Mm -hmm. Trevor Penning last year and then that kid that doesn't have two front teeth. The North year. Dakota State started yeah. as a tight end. Yeah. How about that? And just mauling people. Yeah, he ain't got two front teeth. I mean, even the Northwestern kid, like, <laughs> it's Northwestern. I mean, like, it's not like a SEC type school. That kid is a freak. Yeah, dude. We, I saw he was at the All American game mm -hmm. with me. He he was in my class. Nope, but we didn't know who he was when he got there. Yeah. You know, he got there and we're like, who is this kid? <laughs> yeah, freak. Kid's a baller. Yeah. Peter? What about One, the guy from Tulsa? Didn't he go last year, first round? Was there a guy from yeah, Tulsa? there mm -hmm. was. I can't remember his name, though. I don't remember who he yeah, was well, either. I just knew that he went that he went like really high, and everybody was like, "Whoa!" Yeah, like Peter. Yeah, had every offer in the world, and I was. We were all like, "Why are you going to Nebraska?" He's like, "I just like it there." Mm. And that's all you need. Here he is. Yep, going to be one of the top tackles taken. That's crazy. What uh, what was like? What was being at the draft like? Like talk, walk us through the behind the scenes experience of that. Oh, it was. I feel like the experience was great. You know, it was great. Long day? Uh, for me, I guess, because I, yeah. didn't, I didn't get drafted. But yeah, I felt other than that, I had a great experience. You know, I had a great experience just being there, having – I had a lot of my family out, a lot of family I haven't seen in a long time who never came, like who never was able to come to a game at Georgia. That's dope. So it was a lot of family out there. It was – we was in Vegas, so the weather was good. Uh, the weather was good in a lot of places. But we was in Vegas uh, my first time out there. I got to meet a lot of people, you know. Um, so it, the the whole experience was great. I, I'm glad my people got to experience every, all of that, being yeah. able to go. I hadn't been that far west like ever. Uh, instead, when I went to go try to get the um, the running lot trophy, impact trophy, but it was I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. Other than uh, of course dropping. Yeah. But but pre start of the draft, it was a pretty cool experience. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, oh, I yeah. look cool. I mean, that's every kid's dream, dude. Oh yeah. What Definitely. uh. So you get you get drafted to the mm -hmm. Eagles, first year. Talk us through what the first like the rookie seat, like the rookie year. What were the what was your rookie moment? Like yo, like I'm in the league. Like this is crazy. Uh, to be honest, you like you say you've been blocking first rounders. It's like the the game didn't speed up. The really? game no, the game didn't speed up. Everybody's good. Everybody focused on the little details. The biggest thing was uh, the lineman was faster. Mm. Oh, you had some linemen that can move, they can get up well, to you. You're on a team with uh, Kelsey. So, so boom. <laughs> yeah, that's, that so, initially, true. I'm like, okay, the linemen, 
the linemen is just fast and, and, and quick. But the games that I played, I'm like, all right, they not that fast. They not getting yeah. up to me like like kills get up to me in the practice. Then you then you realize some linemen like to hang on double teams, some like to mm-hmm. bump and get off. So it's like it's different like that. But yeah, because I mean, there's a video of you. One game, I can't remember who it might have been the 49ers. I can't remember who it was, but I think it was like an inside zone, and you just like you shot the the gap, yeah, and, right the off the gap. guard, and yeah. just and just I mean, got him like three yards in the backfield. I was, I was you made to, the lineman look slow. I was about like to you talk were about moving. A, a play you made. It was on. You know, Coach Smart's talk every spring ball, talking early and rolling about special teams. Mm-hmm. He mm-hmm. pulled yeah, up that clip of your, yeah. your kickoff oh, yeah. cover. Yeah. yeah. I think he rewinded it and played it about, played it about times. 15 times. Yeah. And he's like, this right here makes you money. You know, you all, you all know his speech. <laughs> he, he puts, he puts the year. league minimum up every year for a special teams player. Like, this is the league minimum for being on an active roster. And it was like, it's like 700, uh, I don't know, something like that. And he's yeah. like, to all the guys that aren't like, Hips oh, told yeah, yeah. Told them to stop by. She told me the other day, what up, girls? <laughs> Featuring uh, Tate's girlfriend. Yeah. All right, so speaking of another special teams freak, Channing Tindall. Oh, my goodness. We got to go back to, like, your most, obviously, like, your most viral moment as a Georgia Bulldog being when Latu, you kind of poked the ball out of Latu's arms mm-hmm. in the end zone, and Easy you and Channing got after a little bit, like you yeah. just hold him accountable. And the next play, Channing arguably makes one of the biggest plays of the game. Yes. What like what was that moment like? Uh, it was it was in the moment. I mean, it's the national championship. Uh, we in the red zone. We trying to make make a stand. They didn't. They end up getting a field goal out of it. So I guess it paid off. But you know, a t- uh, <laughs> emotions are high. You know, you don't want you don't Especially want. Especially, I mean, you're the leader on you're the leader yeah. on the defense. You too. don't want you don't want little mistakes to happen. But it. I feel like that all came down to knowing who you with and knowing your guys because I couldn't do that to everybody. That's I mean, you couldn't do it, but it's just how me and Channing, it's how me and Channing kind of, the relationship we had, how how good we know each other and we know what's going to get each other to tick. You know, I didn't say nothing. Like, he know he didn't take that personal at oh, all, yeah. 100%. But I, had, I ain't going to lie, during my, my draft process, I didn't want to say no team names, but I had a couple teams, they didn't like that at all. Really? Yeah. Most teams most teams was like, yeah, I like you holding people down. What? They didn't like it. You would think they would love that. They didn't like it at all. They I would have like, been like. They was like, yeah, we don't do everybody grown. I'm like, yeah, I understand everybody grown. And I'm not, I mean, I, but I know my guys. You're yeah. I mean, football games. Like, yeah, yeah, we, I would have been like, all due respect, I'm good not playing me, for real. I'm just saying, me being, me and Channing, we, well, Channing came in a year before me. Yeah. At that point, we went from, when I first got here, from boys to men, like I yeah. could do that to him. You know what I'm saying? But I'm understand if everybody the man I do, everybody not gonna respond the same. It's mm-hmm. different. But I'm just saying, yeah, they ain't like that. They ain't like that. Wow. Yeah. I never would have thought that. I never would have thought that either. Yeah. That's exactly what I would want in my guy on defense. Like, like you said, you can't do it to everybody, but you, the guys you that no, you, you know, you it came it came down to connection. Yeah, and we, was, connect, that's all it we is. was connected enough to know. I I was connected enough to Channing to know what gets him to tick, what gets him to go, and it worked. Like, yeah. made the biggest play of the game the next play. So were the Eagles good with you? But were they all for that that type of mentality? Oh, yeah, that you had? yeah, yeah. The Eagles, I mean, yeah, the teams that the teams that it, it was just a few, but yeah, I'm not playing with them right now. Yeah, I mean, no, that's crazy. Um, so obviously that was in the biggest college game of your career. Yes. What was it like going from being on the biggest stage in your college career to being on the biggest stage of the world? It was crazy. Uh, it was crazy just, first of all, the NFC, NFL season is long. Yeah. But, I mean, winning makes it better. So we, we was winning a lot. Um, but it, it it was just a blessing. It was just a blessing to be able to get to the, to have the team that we had, the type of work we put in, to see a different way work. You know what hmm. I'm saying? You know, because Coach Smart, you know, is it's the Georgia way. You know, we got we set everything to a standard. We do the same at uh, with the Eagles, but it's just a different way of thinking, a different way of going about things. But all of it is progressive. All of it, it wants everybody to work to a certain standard, uh, and everybody's held accountable. So it was like it wasn't so much different. It's just yeah, you just, know, little tweaks in it differently. You know, we so. Seeing the different way work the way we in the way we mesh together. One thing I would say that was most common was uh, we worked on we worked on connection, which a lot of teams probably don't work on in the NFL. 
we worked on just getting to know each other, even if you don't know them well. Just just little things, you know. I always we had a pool table. We played pool all the time in between meetings and practice. That's dope. Trying to uh, just just compete. So yeah, that that it was great. That's really cool, dude. That's, wish we would have uh, won. It's in, yeah. <laughs> Y'all be back. Y'all be just fine, yeah. dude. Y'all gonna be crazy. Speaking of, speaking of next year and having another chance at it, um, obviously TJ ain't gonna be there anymore. Mm -hmm. Edward's signing with uh, who do you sign with again? Bears. Bears. Yeah. So uh, Twitter was looking like they're they're calling it uh, Dean time in Philly. <laughs> What's uh, what are you look, most looking forward to in your second year? Because they always say like in college at least from your first year to your second year is your biggest growth mm -hmm. as far as body wise, like all that kind of stuff. So what are you looking forward to the most? Uh, I'm looking forward to just just being the best version of myself. You know, I feel like all my goals I got is lined up for the season. Uh, if I'm the best version of myself, the absolute best version of myself, um, I can accomplish every single one. So that's that's why I'm working towards nine. It's all season, and that's most of what I'm looking to having having fun. You know, yeah, like I was saying, um, a lot of people. I mean, when I was in college, they was when, when I was in high school, they was like, uh, "You never gonna have as much fun playing ball as you are now." Always, that's what they always say. And then I got to college, and I'm like, I don't know now. I had <laughs> I had fun playing in college, and then you know somebody said we're not gonna have as much fun as you is now. And then I get to the league, it's like we got to connect the team. Even though it's my first year, of course, we got to connect the team we made to the uh, Super Bowl. I had a time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I had a time. So it's that, like, dude, just that. continually to have, uh, just just have fun and make just make plays and fly around and play the game that I love. You know. Heck yeah, uh -huh. dude! It's cool. It's cool seeing you out there balling, like knowing like how good of a dude you are, yeah. and like everything you've gone through to get there. Like it's, it's cool yeah. seeing you out there. It's cool, you, yeah, it's cool to see. Oh my god, I, like you say, Charlie. Yeah, he was a you know he was a big dog when we was just yeah. you know, pups coming in. Seeing got to play against the Forty Nines this year, so being able to just see him is like seeing all the dogs. We got it's a crazy. lot of we got a lot of old lot. teammates in the league. So Speaking lot. of, I mean, you're playing with arguably you know one of your teammates from Georgia. That's mm -hmm. arguably one of the top bulldogs of all time. And JD, what's it like playing with him again? Great, yeah, great. Yeah, you know, having him there, you know, uh, of course, it adds comedic relief oh, to everything. Oh, dude, I'd be, I'd be nonstop laughing. <laughs> yeah. Holy, he make everybody laugh. It, it, it's just funny, but just being able to, you know, have that that person that you already know and trust, just right there, that you can just yeah. tell anything to. It, it was, it just made, it made transition from the league. I mean, from the uh, college to the league, way easier. What was the, what was that, what was the hardest part of that transitioning from? Here to there, the hardest part, uh, I would say, well, you know, of course, I ain't start from the beginning, yeah. so from the jump. So it's like, I want to say that was hard for me because it was like being here. I learned you got to step your role, you got to play, you got to be the best at it. So it was like, all right, whatever they got me do, I'm gonna be the best. If they had me being a towel boy, I'm gonna be the best towel boy I can be. If I if I was second string towel boy, I was gonna be the best second string towel boy I can be. Working and being able to, if the first string tie ball go down, I'm going to be right there and it ain't going to be no drop off. So that's kind of like was my mindset towards it. Uh, so I would say probably that. That's awesome, dude. I love it. Yeah. What, uh, Bobby, I'm going to throw it to you. We're going to kind of change up this. We do a second segment be yeah. called uh, Rank Talk, but we're going to do it. We're going to do a blind draft. So this is the real talk blind draft. Bobby, take it away. Yeah, so um, we're going to do rank these five states without knowing what's next. So if I, if I say the state, you've got to rank it one, two, three, four, five, but you have no idea what's coming next. And I took out Georgia and Mississippi for oh, obvious reasons. That so, I want to get Mississippi. So, um, you got yeah. PA in there? Still got who? PA? Philly? No, I do okay, not. Okay, okay, no, cool. I also, cool, took cool, out, cool. also didn't put, yeah, also didn't put them in there. So um, He's going to yeah. put like – Oregon or something. All right, go. First one. So in this, so this is one through five. You states have to rank it. States. states. Okay. You got to rank it one through five, not knowing what's next. So you could be three out the gate, four out the gate, whatever. Yeah. All right. Ooh. So first one is Colorado. Oh, <laughs> you could go multiple ways with this yeah, answer. Yeah, you go a lot of ways with this answer. <laughs> four. All right, easy four from Nicobe. Three. Yeah, that was quick. I'll go three. All right. Number two is Florida. One. 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 Wow. No state income tax. One. Pretty cool. Oh, two, just to change it up. You guys are saying one, even though you don't know what. One. Okay. All right. I hear you. New York. 
five, three. That's like Y five. This this <laughs> I might think be, I know Y five. There's a whole lot of people that I just don't need to be around. Well, I'm changing my five. This could be the first time you and I have ever like really really agreed on something. Five. The only one that so, can replace it. Kobe. There's one state that can replace it in my opinion. Yeah, yes, that state. I, I'm assuming I'm, it's not on this list. Yeah. yeah. All right, so this one, I got Tennessee on there. Three. I have one. We have two spots yeah, left, right? Two, well, two, I don't know two. What I've I'm going two. I haven't, haven't what, what's yours so far? I got two. Florida one, Tennessee two, New York five. So you got three and four. Colorado four. I got one, two, three, and five right now. I have two, three, and Tennessee five. Is my two. I just got three left. Tennessee's going to go as my one. Tennessee's going to go one. Yeah. All right. Last one. And Hibs, likes that. Hibs would hate this one. Ohio. <laughs> it got to go three, huh? My, they're my four, I guess. Yeah, they're my four, I guess. That's where my pop's family's from, but I'll go four. I think Ohio's the armpit of the United States. I can't stand it. Armpit of the United yeah. States? I think yeah. um, South Carolina Stadium is. Dude, that place was hot. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The only reason I put New York at five, because I'm from Mississippi, and I went to New York City, and I was like, ah, I do not. This that is just it. not my vibe. I've never the city. Been. I'm, I'm right there the with city. you. But I just now, know. I don't I know. Like, like, outside of New York, is great. Seemed great. But the city, I'm just not a city guy. I agree. Philly-New York rivalry there a little bit. A little so, bit. Yeah. A little bit. What? Um, and by armpit, I mean, I don't mean, like, hottest place. I meant, like, it's just, like, the worst <laughs> place to be. Well, that's my, that's gonna, my definition of armpit, by the way. So. My armpit would probably be Jersey. Jersey. Southern Cal. Maybe I don't know. California. But talking Did you about say Jersey. Going back to that's where you're from. You're from Jersey. She's from Jersey. Man. Don't play. Man. Don't play. All right. Speaking we'll go of New easy. York, she's got it on her sweatshirt. Nice. Speaking of South Carolina, real quick, I knew that was going to be a, a hot game when on the first drive, Stetson was throwing up before the PAT. He, I mean, I just saw that him was, throw up. I was like, did you see that? No, you probably didn't yeah. see this because you, mm-hmm. you were playing the next day. I was like, Stetson, are you okay? He was like, uh huh, and then. Threw up again. I yeah. was like, we go on like a 12, on? 12 play drive, just dotting it up, running the ball six, seven yards, six, seven yards, dot. But why is and, he throwing it? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> well, Stetson was back there. He had like a long scramble and then he threw a touchdown. As soon as oh. he threw the ball, looked down, there's woo. Starts like turning around, woo. And the field goal team goes out and he's like, woo. And then I guess Tate talked to him and then he just goes down to, to catch the snap. And right before the snap, he looks to the side, like just, I mean, just project out. That Everybody's was like, one of those wow. games where it was hot enough to where we would like look at the D lineman. You could just tell they didn't want to be there either. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we were all just ready to go home. That's the, that's one of the funniest parts is like when you when you put it on a team and you get out there and like when I get out there with the twos and they're like, bro, can y'all just hurry up? It's like, no, we're gonna enjoy this right here. <laughs> you know? That's right. how it was with TCU. <laughs> As soon as we talked about them, their backers flowing so fast, because as soon as they saw a guard pull, uh, knew it was run, they were hitting somewhere. And I'm talking, I pull, we run a trap pass. I pull and I see both of their backers just right in front of me. I'm like, Doop. you might want to turn around. Touchdown. <laughs> I looked at Tom and I said, Tom, are you having fun? He said, nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a time because I, I was out there. I was on the sideline. That's right. You mm-hmm. were there. Yeah. I, uh, and I was talking. I talked so crazy <laughs> about uh, about Georgia. Now that I'm going, when I was here, I'm oh, not, yeah. like I'm on the Eagles. I'm not gonna talk too crazy, not bragging anything. But I talk crazy oh, to everybody. Bro. Everybody in the locker room, they probably hate me. They were trying. <laughs> they were sending me. They were sending me all type of bets. Let's bet. Let's bet. I bet, I bet everything. <laughs> I bet everything that we were gonna be. You probably make a lot of money. I did. That's I awesome. did. To <laughs> my teammates, yeah, took all their money. You got any funny stories about? Betting with a teammate on like they have to wear your like Georgia shirt if y'all win. Uh, the first no, the first game we didn't bet um, Georgia gear. Um, you know how we the, the Georgia cleats came out. Yeah, the Georgia. So I we bet Devin Allen, uh, the one who he Olympic uh, uh-huh. hurler. Um, he went to Oregon. He was like, if if uh, Oregon win, you gotta give me a pair of them cleats. <laughs> so we was like, all right, if uh, UJ win, he said he can get us some. So any pair of J- 